I don't want you to come back into my life again because you're too unpredictable. When I think about our relationship, I picture a door that I've had to lock tightly. This door symbolizes the boundary I've set to keep out the uncertainty and chaos that always seem to follow you. Every time you were around, I felt like I was on edge, never sure of what to expect from you. Sometimes, you were supportive and kind, but other times, you brought confusion and turmoil. Your unpredictability was like a storm that would suddenly appear without warning. One moment, the skies would be clear, and I'd feel hopeful about our relationship. But the next, dark clouds would gather, and I'd be caught in a whirlwind of mixed emotions. This constant shift was incredibly draining, it left me feeling anxious, never able to find a sense of peace or stability. I want you to understand how deeply this affected me, it was like trying to open a door without knowing what lay on the other side. Would it lead to a place of support and understanding, or would it open to more problems and heartache? This uncertainty took a toll on my well-being, it made me feel like I was always bracing for impact, never able to relax and simply enjoy our time together. I remember moments when I desperately wished for things to be different, I wanted so badly for our relationship to be a safe haven, a place where I could find comfort and trust. But instead, it often felt like a gamble, where I never knew if I'd win a moment of happiness or lose myself in more confusion. Your unpredictable nature turned what should have been a source of joy into a source of stress. I found myself constantly questioning your intentions, wondering if you truly cared or if you were just passing through my life like a fleeting shadow. This lack of consistency made it hard for me to feel secure, it was like walking on shifting sands, never finding solid ground. In the end, I had to make a difficult decision for my own peace of mind, locking that door was not an easy choice but it was a necessary one. I needed to protect myself from the emotional roller coaster that you brought into my life. I needed to find a way to feel safe and stable again. So, when I say I don't want you to come back, it's not out of anger or resentment, it's out of a deep need to preserve my own well-being. I've realized that I deserve a relationship that brings clarity and peace, not one that leaves me guessing and anxious. I hope you understand this and respect my decision, my heart needs time to heal and find its own rhythm without the unpredictability that you brought. The locked door represents my decision to protect myself from the stress and confusion that your unpredictable behavior brought into my life. Imagine a door that stands firm and steady, keeping out anything that might disturb the peace inside. This door is my shield, a barrier I've set up to guard my heart and mind from the chaos you often brought with you. Just as you wouldn't want to walk through a door that you can't see clearly through, I need to keep this door shut to maintain my own peace and stability. Picture a door that is fogged up, making it impossible to see what's on the other side, that's how it felt every time you were near. I could never be sure what to expect, would it be calm and supportive, or would it be another wave of confusion and stress? Keeping the door closed is my way of ensuring that I can see clearly and feel safe. Each time you came back, it felt like the door was being jostled and potentially broken down, leaving me vulnerable to emotional upheavals that I no longer wish to endure. Whenever you returned, it was as if someone was shaking the door violently, trying to force it open. This constant threat of intrusion made me feel exposed and defenseless, I was left wondering if the next moment would bring support or more heartache. 
I remember how unsettling it was to hear the metaphorical rattling of the door every time you showed up. It was like a warning signal that told me to brace myself for another round of unpredictability. My heart would race, my mind would spin, and I would feel the weight of anxiety pressing down on me. This wasn't just a fleeting discomfort, it was a deep, ongoing struggle that drained my energy and spirit. The locked door is not just about keeping you out, it's about keeping myself in a place of calm and stability. It's about finding a space where I can breathe freely without fearing the next emotional storm. I've learned it that I need to prioritize my own well-being, and that means creating boundaries that protect me from unnecessary pain. You see, every time the door was shaken, it wasn't just the door that was affected, it was my whole sense of security. I felt like I was constantly on edge, waiting for the next unpredictable twist. This constant state of alertness was exhausting, I longed for a sense of predictability and peace, something that seemed impossible with your end. So, I've made the choice to keep this door locked. It's not out of anger or spite, but out of a need to safeguard my own mental and emotional health. I've realized that I deserve a life where I can feel secure and at ease, not one where I'm perpetually bracing for impact. I hope you can understand why this door must remain closed, it's a symbol of my commitment to myself, to my own peace and stability. I need to heal and grow in an environment free from the turmoil that your unpredictability brought. This decision is about finding my own balance and serenity, something that is essential for my happiness and well-being. I'm saying this because I need to establish clear boundaries for my well-being, it is essential for me to have clear lines that protect my heart and mind. These boundaries are like protective walls that keep me safe from emotional harm and confusion. They help me stay grounded and centered, allowing me to live a more peaceful life. By keeping this door locked, I am not trying to be unkind or punitive, rather, I am setting a limit to protect myself from the discomfort and instability that unpredictability brings. Locking the door isn't about being mean or punishing you, it's about taking care of myself and ensuring that I don't have to face the emotional roller coaster that comes with unpredictability. I need to create a stable environment for myself where I can feel safe and secure. It's about creating a safe space for myself where I can have control over my environment and emotional state. This locked door is my way of making sure I have a place where I can feel calm and in control. It's about having a space where I can breathe easy, knowing that I'm not going to be thrown into chaos at any moment. This safe space is vital for my mental and emotional health. This locked door symbolizes my choice to prioritize my own peace and to avoid the turbulence that comes from having you back in my life. The door is a powerful symbol of my decision to put my own well-being first. It represents my commitment to living a peaceful life without the constant worry and stress that your unpredictability brings. I've chosen to avoid the emotional ups and downs that have hurt me so deeply in the past. I want you to understand that this decision is not made lightly, I have thought long and hard about what is best for me. I need to protect my heart from the pain and confusion that have been so draining. It's about making sure I have a stable foundation to build my life on, without the fear of being knocked down again and again. When I say I am locking this door, it's because I need to take control of my own happiness. I need to be in charge of my emotional state, and that means setting boundaries that keep me safe. It's about making sure I can live without the constant fear of unpredictability. 
I need to ensure that my environment is one where I can thrive, without the turbulence that has caused me so much distress. So, please understand that this is not about shutting you out to be cruel, it's about me taking care of myself in the best way I know how. I need to ensure that my life is filled with stability and peace, and that means keeping this door locked. It's my way of making sure I can live a life that is calm and free from the emotional turmoil that unpredictability brings. I hope you can respect my decision and see that it's not about rejecting you, but about protecting myself. I need to be able to find my own peace and stability, and that means setting clear boundaries. This locked door is a necessary step for me to create a life where I can feel safe and in control. It's about prioritizing my own well-being and making sure I can live a life free from the emotional chaos that has been so overwhelming. A career transition is on the horizon for some of you, this means that changes in your work life might be coming soon. If you've faced unsuccessful attempts or feel like you're not making progress, it might be time to consider a new direction. Don't worry about these changes, they often lead to new opportunities that can bring you financial success. If you feel overwhelmed, it's okay to take a break. Taking some time off to recharge and refocus can be very helpful. This time away can give you the chance to clear your mind and regain your energy. During this period of transition, remember that your loved ones will be there to support you. They can help with expenses and bills, giving you the comfort of knowing you're not alone, their support will make this time easier for you. At the same time, your business prospects are looking positive. You can expect to see an increase in clients, followers, and engagement. This growth in your business is a sign that things are moving in the right direction. As your financial growth becomes more noticeable, some people might even feel envious of your success. Remember that having haters can actually be a good sign, it often means you're doing something right and moving towards success, don't let negativity hold you back. Instead, keep pushing forward, knowing that your efforts will lead to greater rewards. New doors are opening for you, and your financial future looks bright. Embrace these changes with a positive attitude. As you adapt and grow, you'll see your wealth and prosperity increase, trust in the process, and watch as your hard work transforms into great success.